If you're looking for a video that goes quickly over all the activities I'll be changing with Weekly Reset, look no further. This is the perfect video for you. First off, with this week starting October 4th, 2022, which is week seven in season 18, is Grandmaster Nightfalls are back. That's it. If you want to get your Conqueror Seal or if you want to guild it, this is your perfect opportunity to do that. Speaking of core activities, this week's first nightfall for GM is going to be Glassway. Sorry guys, but you got to get it out of the way if you want to do Gilded anyway. Glassway is a strike that came with Beyond Light and it's, again, it's really rough. Just take your time. This week's Crucible Rotator is Showdown. In Showdown, the main goal is to try to minimize deaths and revive your teammates where possible because over time, if you continue to lose lives as a fire team, you will lose rounds. If you tie at the end of regulation, there is an elimination mode at the very end of the game if you do come into that. But again, this is a good mode for people who want to practice on in a more casual environment what something like Trials might feel like with the revive and keeping your lives sort of mechanism. For the featured activities like the Dungeons Raid, your featured dungeon this week is Prophecy. Prophecy is an awesome raid, has lots of great, the, the loot, like the armor, looks really cool, has good storylines that you can get from the Drifter at Eris. So again, really fun. It's kind of just a trippy uh, activity. And then the featured raid is Garden of Salvation. Reminder, what this means for both of these is that you get pinnacles. The other thing with the feature raid, that means all the challenges are, are ready and open. So if you're looking to do the Enlightened title and you want to do it all in a week, this is the week to do that. Next up is raid challenges. If you're interested in raid challenges, I have a playlist that has almost every raid challenge in the game and how to do it really easily. So check that out if you don't know how to do these. The raid challenge for King's Fall is the Golgoroth challenge. And for this one, you just need to make sure when you swap buffs by you know taking his gaze, that you make sure that the person who's releasing the gaze is in the pool of light. And so you'll just need to alternate. The Vow challenge is the Totems challenge. And for this challenge, you're going to need to make sure that you shoot the champions within a few seconds of each other. Just requires some coordination. The Vault of Glass challenge is a gatekeeper challenge. This one can be tricky, but really you need to make sure that you're killing the majors that are in both sides of Mars and Venus at the same time. So again, that's just going to require some coordination with the relic and just some timing. Finally, there is the Deep Stone Crypt challenge, which is Tanix Reborn. And in this challenge, you can only use... There are three buffs in this. You can only use one of the buffs one time through one portion of the encounter. So again, I have a video that goes in a little more detail. This one can be a little bit confusing, but if you do want more details on that, check that out. Next, we're gonna talk about the seasonal challenges again for week seven. So the first one moves forward to story, which is Antiquarian seven, which is you need to kill Vex, powerful Vex throughout the system. And you also have to place the relic. Reminder, the relic is placed as you do the quest for, the, for that particular week. And you go to the pirate hideout and take care and finish that. That's where you pick up the relic. Efficient expedition. Complete expedition in each destination in under 10 minutes. So again, you're just going to be quick with that. You might need a fire team for that. Shaper 2. Level seasonal shape weapons to level 10. So again, just go in, go crazy, get it leveled up. Underhanded. Defeat targets with sidearms and defeat jolted combatants. So you can actually use the new seasonal sidearm that, you know, jolts enemies. And then defeating combats and catch craft again when they're jolted. And then if you defeat them within the catch craft activity, you'll get quicker progress. So again, try to do it within that activity. Closing in. Defeat targets of machine guns, sniper rifles, and swords in Gambit. Defeat guardians will award bonus damage. So again, you gotta do it in Gambit. Sorry, guys. Fleeting Glory. Complete Crucible matches in the Glory Rank playlist earn bonus progress for wins. So this is getting into survival and things like that. But again, you're going to, the quicker you get, the more you get wins, so going with Fire Team would be helpful, the quicker you're gonna progress this. And then Grandmaster. Complete a Nightfall on Grandmaster. So sorry guys, it is this week, Glassway. So you need to decide if this is the week that you wanna do this challenge. Next, we'll get into the Lost Sectors for this week. So this week is a really good week for trying to get some of your uh, armor that you're missing. It, there are some pretty easy ones in here. So on Tuesday, October 4th, there's gonna be the quarry, which is in the EDZ, where you could get legs. Wednesday, October 5th, there's excavation site 10, 12, which is in the EDZ, which the rewards are arms. Thursday, October 6th is concealed void on Europa. Again, that gives you chest. October 7th, Friday, that's gonna be bunker E115. That's Europa. 
And the reward on that is a helmet. Saturday, October 8th is the Conflux. That's on Nessus. The reward are legs. Sunday, October 9th is the Rift on Nessus. And the rewards are arms. Monday, October 10th is K1 Crew Quarters on the moon. And the rewards is chest. So that's the video, guys. Again, I want to keep it short and sweet. Go over just the key things you're going to need to go going into this week. And again, this is a new series I'm doing. So if you have any feedback, feel free to drop in the comments. Other things you'd like to see covered. Other things you're not clear about. Do that. And then also... Feel free to jump over to my Discord and we have a conversation there. Again, like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guarding to the tower.